welcome on back to the channel everyone thank you so much for being here hope that you're having a great day you know i'm going to start this off besides introducing the artist the song title the album etc etc sound on sound bill nelson's red noise 1979 um you know what i just thought of red noise what is red noise because isn't there isn't there something called the brown note where if you hit a certain note <laughs> so what is the red <laughs> Never mind. I don't know what I'm beginning this off with. Well, let's go ahead and get into the music. We'll talk about it after. We're going to listen to furniture music. Grab yourself a seat and let's go. No, 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 not yet, not yet, no, no. Okay, furniture music, I like this track a lot. It reminds me a lot of Gary Newman, Two Boy Army. I'm hearing a lot of that in there. But I really like that the statement that the guitar is making here, okay? It's a simple riff. Bum, 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 bum. A little hard, a little robotic. I like that, a little bit of that machine-like movement, right? But this isn't like a robotic song, not at all. But it does have a little bit of that electronic synthy influence, right? I don't know for sure, so this, take this with a grain of salt. It's a first listen, so I'm just kind of going off of what I just heard. Um, it sounded like the guitar was pretty straightforward in the beginning, right? By the end and the last verse, the guitar is still playing the same riff, but when it plays, it sounds like it's being played through like a synth or, or some electronic filter or something, because you hear like the synth kind of like 
echo in the back and then eventually it rises up. Now, it could also just be uh, the actual synths from Andy Clark, like he's playing with the guitar at that point, but it sounds like it's like mixed in like a nice cocktail of electricity uh, with the guitar. So I'm not sure, but either way, I thought that was a nice evolution in the song that was also kind of kind of subtle because I didn't think it was like, it wasn't like a stand out, oh, we're changing this. No, it was like a very subtle change that just moves the music along same direction different drift and then i also really like the the vocals bill i think sounded really nice in here once again i am getting shades of newman here but uh bill does have his own little spin on that and i think it just sounds really nice i like what clark was doing with those little radio transmission like blips in the music just kind of kind of riding along with the guitar and everything sounds like a little bit of a news transmission or something coming in i don't know Regardless, I liked that sound and I liked how the band put it all together. I get so tired of my room, it makes the same sounds every day. Sometimes I move my things around and it helps eliminate the boredom. I like that. I like the idea of, you know, you're bored in your room and so you change things around. Like, I've been in this room, well, technically I've been in this room for like less than a year, but it's all the same setup as, as where I was before. So, I mean, there are a, a decent amount of times I want to change stuff. I would love to, honestly, I, I, I have an idea for how I, I envision, like, the future of, like, recording and the channel and everything like that. But I can't do all of that yet. That, that requires uh, funds. <laughs> I have this idea, and maybe one day I'll do that. But, yeah, I would love to change the set and stuff a little bit more. Anyways. There is no order in my room, a place where accidents can happen. I like the table in my chair. Sometimes I listen to their pattern. I think that's interesting, listening to the pattern of your room. A little bit of feng shui. Furniture music. I make furniture music. I like furniture music. Okay, like he's justifying it to someone else or to us. I sit alone inside my room. It makes me feel as if I'm happy. Interesting, as if I'm happy. Sometimes when I have time to kill, I watch the world outside my window. <laughs> Honestly, I do the same. I'm looking outside the window right now. There's not much going on. Uh, <laughs> it never rains inside my room. My, my carpet is the color green. There is a lock on every door. One never knows what things may happen. I mean, I, I think there is a certain predictability in your room, but my room has a modern style of interior decoration. My room is a model of design. When I'm feeling happy, I make furniture music. When I feel sad, I watch the rain. I like to read books in my room. It helps me in my quest for knowledge. Sometimes I think about my life, the source of all my inspiration. There's a clock on the wall. I light a fire in the winter. It light, its light illuminates my room and throws my shadow in the corner. Furniture music, I make furniture music. So. I think that's kind of interesting. I, I don't, I could be wrong. I don't think there's like a, a very deep, you know, hugely philosophical meaning to this song or anything like that. I think it really is just, you know, the almost, the almost mundane idea of like looking in your room is the same thing all the time. And yet, if you think about it, it provides a certain sort of comfort, a certain sort of stability. You know, you know what to expect when you're in your room. There's safety. You can lock the doors. And if you want, you can still look outside the window and get a little piece of uh, piece of the world out there, you know? So I, I think that's really just all he's talking about. It's just kind of straightforward. Good track. Let me know what you all thought in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter. I don't know why I put some sauce on that. I said below. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Come on back tomorrow, and I will see you then. Bye, guys.